I believe the fastest and most effective way to grow a medium is... Hey everyone, Hudson here and welcome back to another video. Medium is a platform that promotes tight-knit communities. Engagement is one of their main metrics for success. They pay you more money for views coming from your followers and a lot of the time, the only people who actually see your stories are those who already follow you. This is great if you already have an established following. But if you're just starting out, it can feel a little discouraging. So in this video, I'm going to break down exactly what you can do to build an initial audience, even if you have zero followers. And with it, start creating momentum. Let's get into it. So if you're brand new to the idea of Medium, here's a really quick breakdown. It's essentially YouTube for writers. You can sign up, join the Medium Partner Program, start writing, and get paid from the page views. But success on Medium isn't as easy as writing a few viral articles and getting rich. Medium wants its writers to be in it for the long haul and build an engaged audience as they go. I personally love the community on Medium and feel it's the best place for writers to write authentically and get paid for it. But if you're just looking for a way to get rich quick, there are probably better options out there. With that said, regardless of your Medium goals, there are a few habits anyone can use to expedite their growth and subsequent earnings. And they fall into two categories, what to do when posting and what to do after posting. If you think of creating online as a tree, your posting schedule acts as the trunk. It's what allows you to grow long-standing roots and develop an audience. From the trunk, you can then sprout flowers and eventually will start to bear fruit. But even before you start your posting schedule, you must lay your roots into the ground. The first thing you want to do is fill out your profile and post an initial story to show that you have activity on your profile. I have a video on exactly how to do this, which I will link in the description below and you can watch after this one. After you've filled out your profile, you can start posting consistently. So in the past, Medium favored those who posted two to three articles per week. But in August of this year, Medium made some drastic changes to their algorithm, one of which was removing the emphasis on consistency and on to quality. So in my opinion, especially if you're just starting out, I would aim to post one article per week. This will give you enough time to create quality words without feeling rushed and stockpile articles for those weeks that you either don't have time or just don't feel up to writing. When you're first starting out, when you post an article, it has a very limited reach. So what you want to focus on is increasing the amount of eyeballs on each of your stories. One way to do this is by leveraging topic pages. When somebody first signs up to Medium, they will be asked what topics are interested in seeing. This will determine what story show up on their homepage before they start to follow specific writers. So when posting, I would recommend adding the same two topic tags on every single story. This will allow your stories to show up on topic pages consistently and be pushed to those new readers who are interested in those specific topics. You can see how many followers a topic has either in your story composer or by searching for topics on Medium's homepage. Over time, you may even show up on the who to follow tab, making you an authority on the topic and increasing the amount of people who will follow you and then see your stories. Another way to expand your reach is to post to publications. So on Medium, when you post your story, it will be shown to those who follow you, follow the topic you post it under or the publication you post in. This tier of distribution is called network only. If enough people read and engage with your story, it will be sent out to the next tier of distribution called general distribution. And from there, if it gets picked up by a boost nominator, it can be selected for a boost, which it is sent out to an even wider audience. I have another video on boosting. Again, I'll link it in the description below. But essentially, your goal with every story is to move from network only to general distribution. And if you're lucky, to being boosted. So here's a list of publications you can join even if you have zero followers. As you continue to post consistently on the same topics and in the same publications, more people will see your writing and you'll start creating that initial momentum. But in my opinion, it is what you do after you post that makes all the difference. On Medium, the two main factors that help your stories move from network only to general distribution and hopefully toward being boosted 
are engagement and read ratio. Read ratio is determined by the percentage of people who read your story for more than 30 seconds. So this comes down to the quality of your writing. But engagement, that is how many people clap, highlight, and comment on your stories is actually something you can control through mutual engagement. I believe the fastest and most effective way to grow a medium is through a habit of mutual engagement. Essentially, what you want is a group of five people who clap, highlight, and comment on every single one of your stories. This is really important because that engagement shows Medium's algorithm that people are enjoying the story and is what determines whether or not that story will be sent from network only to general distribution and be eligible ultimately for a boost. So here's what you can do to begin building that basis of mutual engagement. Directly after posting your story for the week, go into your notifications and look for anyone who has interacted with any of your stories on your profile. In terms of engagement, the metrics are valued with comments being the most valuable, followed by claps and then highlights. So prioritize those people that have left comments on your stories, go to their profile and read their story, clap for it, highlight and leave a comment yourself, followed by those who clap and highlight. If nobody has engaged with any of your stories, what you can do is find recent stories, preferably in the topics you post under. So you can go to the topic page, find the latest stories, find people who have recently left comments on those stories and spread engagement on their stories, followed by just random people. Although this alone won't contribute to success on Medium because people have to actually enjoy your writing, it's a great way to tell Medium's algorithm that your stories are worth reading. And in terms of how many people to engage with, I would aim for a minimum of five comments every time you post. The more you engage with other people, the more you will get in return and the faster you'll grow. If you do this and your writing is engaging, you will naturally grow. But the harsh reality of writing online is you may not be speaking to the reader, regardless of how good your writing is. So if you are doing this, but you aren't seeing growth, you may need to tweak how you're speaking to the reader. It's not that you're a bad writer. In fact, you could be an amazing writer and still not find success on Medium because it's all about how you package your ideas and offer value to your readers. Here's a list of resources I've used and found really helpful when adapting my writing to an online audience. To summarize, post consistently, I'd say once a week starting out, use at least two of the same topic tags on every single story, submit to publications and continue to apply to new ones as you gain experience. Start a routine of mutual engagement, aiming for a minimum of five comments per week and adapt a mindset of objectivity and continual growth. If you're not seeing the success you would like, use some of the resources I listed to see what you could be missing. That is the end of this video. I really hope you found it valuable. Please let me know what questions you still have in the comments. Even if you don't have a question, leave a comment anyway because it feeds the algorithm and I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.